Disney Channel's High School Musical was undoubtedly a pop culture phenomenon, and a film that I have already reviewed in what some might call the clip breakdown classics era of 2020. Unfortunately for High School Musical, sometimes being a classic means pretty much anyone has the right to exhume your body and desecrate your legacy for no reason, even centuries after its remains are no more than an unidentified field skeleton. This is turning into the same speech I gave that middle school orchestra after they attempted one of Beethoven's symphonies. The point is, just because I dug up the mummified body of High School Musical over three years ago, just so I could give it a clown nose and twist its nipples, there is still somehow more stuff that I want to do to it. <laughs> That's why I'm introducing High School Musical, the shady short version. A condensed version of clip breakdown that ensures no matter how long a topic has been dead for, the final word always goes to Big N, which is the nickname I gave the enlarged portion of my brain that controls sarcasm. So uh, set a timer and settle in for a quick hit of clip after clip meant to summarize the movie, along with on-screen commentary designed to drag, roast, and devour this classic decom like a lion tamer on his very final day of work. It's time for a quick and brutal attack that you will never forget. In tonight's extra broke down installment of Clip Breakdown, short version. <laughs> Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me for the first ever installment of Clip Breakdown Shady Short Version, the spin-off playlist where we dive in for a rapid fire reissue of classic clip breakdowns with a pop-up commentary twist. Did you ever watch pop-up video or pop-up music video on like TV land? It's like that, but also somewhat different. <gasps> I forgot to put on my tinted lip balm. Um, uh, this is supposed to be fast, but I'm already like doing my makeup on camera. We'll live, we'll live. The fact of the matter is, I think at this point, the High School Musical franchise needs no plot explanation. It's basically Grease, but again. So before I uh, help condense this movie into unhelpful little pieces of commentary for you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you think shady short version of Clip Breakdown should be a continuing monthly spinoff. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, Channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So turn on notifications and you'll always be the first to know when I'm being shady in either a long form or a short form context. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure you check out my longer review of the clip breakdown of Clip Blue 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 High School Musical, which happened all the way back in 2020. We're talking pandemic age, mama, just months after you may have discovered me from making fun of Shane Dawson. Anyway, let's dive right into a movie that needs no further introduction, High School Musical. Bring. Gabby, it's New Year's Eve. Enough reading. Oh, but Mom, I'm almost done. In the teen party? I've laid out your best clothes. You know the outfit, it looks just like mine. Halloween witch skirt, the jacket that Mickey Mouse would wear during a parade. You said we could both dress crazy together for New Year's. Don't worry, Ms. Montez. I think Mother Bolton has conjured up an outfit that will match yours quite well. It's the last night of vacation. The party, remember? Do you think that I put on this velveteen top and Christmas tree skirt for no reason? That's the dress code here at the Chateau day wear whatever. I stan the mothers of High School Musical for dressing like different vocal parts of the same jazz choir. Frankly, the rest of each family needs to step it up if they want to match this level of fashionista. Oh, yeah. I can't no, you. You will. And you. Yeah, come on. Somebody help Gabriella. She's being forced into karaoke marriage by a 10 year old Viking. What kind of stressful teen New Year's party is this supposed to be? The least willing and most clinically anxious looking people in this entire party were chosen against their will to perform for all of these teenage cats in the hat. This is like my worst nightmare. Unless we can get some adult cats in the hat in here and they all start performing a number for Magic Mike. Then it's a dream come true, baby. Oh, furry, furry p <laughs> Sorry for saying that. <laughs> 
By the way, the Viking kid is me as a medieval executioner, trying to give my victims one last laugh, even though I'm bad with people. That's right, I would accost them with a plastic party city hat and be like, okay, silly Billy, time to get your head chopped off. Then I grab their upper arm fat and go honk honk. <laughs> Pretty much anybody is gonna submit to whatever you ask after that, so that sort of power move, little Thomason. We, you got it. The start of something new. The director was like, great job with that lip syncing, Zach. Even from back here with our widest lens, we can still somehow see every single one of your freaky little baby teeth. It's gonna be very relatable for this movie's main demographic, which is babies with teeth. Relative to the rest of the franchise, HSM 1 clearly has the lowest budget out of all of them, which I pointed out back in 2020 with this scene's obvious reshuffling of the small group of background actors available. When they're singing, my eye can only follow the guy in the silver sparkly hat as he jumps around the screen. This hat just like feels more like me. I think this is gonna be my thing from now on. Oh, okay, 2020 Nick. Maybe your new thing could also be removing that errant command hook from the otherwise blank background that you insist on using. Also powder your face. This is not the Hubble Space Telescope. We don't need to see it from the atmosphere. I tried to solo and nearly fainted. Well, with the way you sing tonight, that's pretty hard to believe. Well, that was the first time I've done something like that. Okay, well, which is it? Something that you've tried before and nearly fainted? or something so new that you've never done anything like it. It cannot be both Garbarala just because you're not sure which one sounds cuter in that congested baby voice you've been trying out for this whole vacation. I tried to sing a solo during the sock hop at the county fair, but my chronic diaper rash kept giving me sepsis. Tori's like, okay, I assumed you were like 19, but now that you're speaking in full sentences, I feel like you might just be a very tall, very undercared for infant in a wig. I don't know which. We have to figure it out. <laughs> oh, one of the biggest criticisms of my first High School Musical review was that I made too many sexual jokes for a plot involving high schoolers. And unfortunately, I've taken that criticism and accidentally ran the other way with it. So just buckle up, Buttercup. It's gonna get gross. Not me saying that. Not me putting that on the internet. School's back in session. Let's just ring the bell. The ice princess has returned from the North Look, Pole. You know what she probably spent the holidays with? She always does. Well, how's that? Shopping for mirrors. Oh! Okay, that was incredibly insensitive, Chad. You know Sharpay only spends her free time shopping vintage mirrors because she's looking for the one that her mother got trapped inside of due to a druid's curse. At least that's the story that she invented to cope with being abandoned at a Pier 1 Imports by a mother who openly hated her. She'll be back for the second movie, don't worry. It's also Gabriella's first day at school in a very Grease-like situation. If you saw my first review, you know this plot, this script was originally written to be a sequel to Greece. I don't want to get into all that because it's not right. It's not right, but it's okay. You do great. And I made my company promise that I can't be transferred again until you graduate. Wow, that was super thoughtful of your company, realmommyfootworship.com. But it sort of ignores the larger issue of you giving out our home address to all of your online stalkers. The company doesn't want to transfer you this often, and I'm tired of having to change my name and try to make my hair look different every year, mom. Maybe Gabriella can find solace and a perma home within her drama class with Ms. Darby. Do all drama teachers think like, you know what's drama? Having a necklace that touches my vagina. Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a hockey arena. Obviously, Ms. Darbus, if this were a hockey arena, I would be standing at the concession stand with a plastic tray full of nachos while ignoring my little cousin as he wins the world championship for his regional team. I'm just kidding, of course. Tyler never even made it to regionals because most of his team was horribly injured after I ran over their legs using the Zamboni I insisted on trying. But maybe that'll teach the fucking concession stand to start carrying nachos. I don't have to make crazy decisions. Gabriella and Troy meet up during the school year and this high school musical romance is on. Yeah, yeah, that's completely impossible. <laughs> that's impossible, Troy. I wouldn't think impossible is even in your vocabulary. 
To be fair, impossible is only in his spoken vocabulary. If you ask him to spell it, he will start with the letter M. Meanwhile, the only thing Sharpay doesn't know the meaning of is private conversations and also single layer outfits. When I was a teenager, TV movies like this had me layering a blazer over everything as though each day were marching band practice. I would get so overheated by third period that eventually I had to give up on the modesty camisoles that Sharpay is also wearing because my caustic 16 year old sweat would dissolve it within hours leaving nothing behind but a pink dye I still have the reverse farmer's tan of sweatshop dyes. There are a lot of supporting roles in the show I'm sure we can find something for you. No, no, no. I was just looking at all the bulletin boards uh, Okay, have fun Garbara Della really started her day saying, please don't let me be the freaky genius girl. And then the first time a cool girl talks to her, she's like, looky all the bully boards in this wing of the schoolyard. Like, sis, mm -mm. haven't you at least ever read a book that introduced some character with normal social skills that you could copy? We need to refine this. Oh no, it's starting. The Skeleton Wars. Oh, no, that's just the hairless teen basketball legs and tireless shoe squeaking that you have to sit through during this number. Well, I've had enough. It's always getcha, 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 getcha head in the game and never getcha, 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 getcha d in my ass. Damn it. I just leaked the title of my upcoming club song that I wrote about adult cat in the hat. You better getcha, 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 getcha d in my ass. <laughs> I can't. The more fast the format of the show goes, the more unhinged the words that I say seem to be. Let's go to class. Let's go to class. I should be 16 over pi. Yes, Miss Montez? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Uh... No, by all means. Would you like to come up here and don the blue scarf of algebra authority? You think yourself worthy of the pregnant belly of PEMDAS? That stands for parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, and slaughter. Again, Gabriella said she wanted to downplay her math skills right before coming for the overdressed neck and teaching job of an expectant mother. Cancel her, chancellor. I don't know what a chancellor is. Canadian king? Are you a Canadian king? If so, my dating profile is myspace.com slash always be a rock star 6969. <laughs> oh, stop. Shouldn't the second equation read 16 over pi? 16 over pi? That's quite impossible. Gabriella's like, oh, okay, Miss Arithmetic. I guess after seeing a pregnant woman your age, I just assumed nothing was impossible. I'm just kidding, she's young, but this movie helps me live out the fantasy I have of going back in time to high school and saying all of the b things that I would now. You know, so that my classmates would hate me as much as I apparently hated them. And this team does not exist unless each and every one of you is fully focused on our goal. Am I clear? Hey, what team? What yes. What team? What yes. what team? Wait a minute, guys. I know nobody's ever, like, challenged the team name as part of this rhetorical chant, but I was thinking, what if we called ourselves something newer and edgier, like the East High Com- Dumpsters. What do we think? Chad? Zeke? Okay, we'll stick with Wildcats for this rehearsal, but I'm gonna keep asking about Team C Dump every few weeks for the rest of our lives. That's all I'm saying. Do you ever get so excited by a movie musical that you keep throwing your phone? Because that's what I just did. I've cracked so many screens in my lifetime, but at least now I can get it fixed at an easy rate or even repair it myself. Did you know that for a while Apple was deactivating the face ID on phones after they had a screen repaired by a non-Apple authorized technology? They're luckily reversing that and now you're allowed to sell spare parts for iPhones uh, It's part of the right to repair movement Like if I buy something I should be able to fix it But tech companies are often able to make it difficult or impossible to repair the product without buying into their expensive repair plans And it's a way of consolidating power and you know that prevents smaller repair shops or in even just an independent consumer from learning to fix the thing themselves like uh, Apple still has a lot of control over for repairing their devices. Like I can't change the battery in this myself. But with their new self-service repair program, they're basically showing us that tech companies can make it doable and quite easy for us to maintain our right to repair. So I think we can make it clear to lawmakers now that there are no excuses. Every company should have to preserve our right to repair. Mostly because it's a great way to help us maintain our products longer, less waste, make them last. Like when I go in with a burned battery, Apple will be like, mm, yeah, it's sort of a consumable thing. So we'll trash this whole computer and sell you a new one. And it's like, 
Um, and if you don't, it'll be more expensive than just buying a new one. It's like Steve Jobs. He had nothing to do with it. He's been long dead. That's how time works. Dad, I'm not There's talking. There's gonna be college scouts at our game next week, Troy. You know what scholarship is worth these days? A full college scholarship? I think it's worth about one year of the property taxes that you pay on this palatial home we live in. Which is why I deserve it more than the kid on my team who's raising his little sister by himself. But you were right beside me. Well, that was just very disturbing. Go see a counselor. And tell them Mrs. Darbus has already given you the diagnosis of gay and lesbian, respectively. I based it on his being theatrical and her owning a pair of plaid pants. I cannot deny High School Musical's iconic status, especially when it comes to helping young children realize just how gay we all were. This song, specifically. Ryan and Sharpay audition with their version of the song, What I've Been Looking For, which I don't care what anyone says, is superior to Troy and Gabriella's version, by far. Someone as good for me as you. I don't want this to come off as insulting, but run it again and cut the tap dancing. That's for third class passengers of the Titanic, and <laughs> they all drowned like rats. That was insulting? To who? The broken third class rats who drowned like 100 years ago? Nice try. If I was afraid of ghosts, do you think I would spend this much time dishonoring my ancestors? No. Individual auditions are long, <sighs> long over and there are simply no other pairs. I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton? Where is your sports posse or whatever it's called? Uh, I think we're going by the East High dumpsters now, but we'll see. They're putting it to a vote as we speak. Want to hear how the duet's supposed to sound? It's hard to believe that I couldn't see because a demon lives inside me. Oh, sorry. I couldn't help but rewrite those lyrics as a cry for help to the Vatican. Just ignore me. Help me. <clears throat> and ignore that. What I've been looking for. Kelsey's like, hmm, I actually don't see that riff in the music I wrote, so maybe you were just clearing your throat? Try and stick to the script, baby. <laughs> yeah, Gabriella, what happened to that part about where singing in front of people caused you to almost faint? Shouldn't you be fully comatose with a feeding tube right now? Not adding extra notes to my song, thanks so much. Kelsey's trying to be sleepy and generic, and you're adding personality and flavor. It's death on sight in the High School Musical universe. Don't come for me. Someone's gotta tell her the rules. Exactly. And what are the rules? Well, the first one is that we always steal the music from Hairspray. And so began the years long campaign of people requesting a clip breakdown of the 2007 movie Hairspray in my comment section. A request that I always seem to forget about. I promise I'll get to it soon. Although at this point I feel like half my engagement rate is thanks to you. Promise after I do it, you'll still comment something under every video. Like, I don't know, your credit card number. I don't know. It's just dancing. Sometimes I think it's cooler than homework. No, 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 no. That's actual footage of me closing the book on the Trump administration. You orange dick! The White House ain't where you live. In the streets there are cheers, you've got zero more years, so f off with your stupid kids. There's also this cool skater kid who likes to play the cello. And when I saw this when I was 15, it gave me great hope because I had clear braces at the time and I was convinced that it was going to prevent my rise to TV stardom. So when I saw this young child actor with clear braces, I said, see, you can get cast in a Disney Channel movie with braces. It's fine. Flash forward a decade and this kid has been arrested. When one Supreme falls, another one rises to the top. Let me get those braces back on. We're cooking. Flash forward another three years and I've since had clear aligners and also gotten arrested. Well, not technically arrested, but I have been restrained by somebody wearing a uniform and they also took a scuzzy looking photo of me for their own records. That was a very stressful singles mixer. This shot has everything. Ball play, floor work, lyrical table dancing, out of sync doo-wop girls, a person discovering books, come on. Back in 2020, I probably related most to the prima ballerina of the lunch table. But these days, I feel more like the screen left doo-wop girl. No rhythm, no shame, just vibes. I love how she lives. She should start a religion that I can join. No, 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 no. C dumb kids. If you don't like it, hit the skids.
Gabriella's mom is gonna be like, hey, sweetie, how was your first day? Well, mom, have you ever had gay Orville Redenbacher freak dance on your cheese fries at lunch? Cause that's what happened to me. Ugh, I just realized that gay Orville Redenbacher implies the existence of a straight Orville Redenbacher. And you just know he had forced laborers working in those cornfields and like a poorly managed anger problem. Pop, pop. God, this, this one is violent. Even the drama geeks and the brainiacs suddenly think that they can talk to us. The skater dudes are mingling. Yo, yo. Suddenly people think that they can do other stuff. In hindsight, this feels like a whole lot of projection coming from Chad, who is easily the most bi-curious student at all of East High. It gets better, Chad. In the second movie, we see that you spend almost your entire summer vacation hooking up with Ryan in the chemical toilets behind the baseball field. Ugh. Why do we live in a society where that's the only better option than pretending to be straight? I hope in the future, children live in a world where they are finally able to express their love free from the outside toilet box. Until then, we have High School Musical. Back to you. The Lucas Graybell and Penny Ortega, the director of this movie, they both agreed that Ryan was probably gay, but Disney wasn't going to prove that for a family movie, which like, how is being gay not a family thing? Gay doesn't automatically mean fisting. Update, in the last three years, I've learned that in fact, being gay does automatically mean fisting. It's just that every flower blooms in its own time. And yes, the flower is symbolic for your asshole. I went to art school. You seen Troy? Mm, no, coach. By the way, Coach Bolton, what are we? Because you just got close enough to my face for me to smell your Irish Springs body wash, and I saw some of your chest hair through the top button of your polo shirt. You can't tell me I'm imagining this type of chemistry. By the way, everybody, the answer is yes. I did have to transfer high schools at one point as a teenager. I'm sorry, this is a closed practice. Dad, come on, practice is over. Until the last player leaves the gym. Team rule. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, Dad, this is Gabriela Montes. <laughs> Ah, your detention buddy. Ah, the full-time gym teacher. The f Don't talk down to me when your whole job is basically supervising locker rooms to make sure the hazing stays non-sexual. I stand by every word of that. I'm not scared of a high school basketball coach. All the boys in my seventh grade class thought our gym teacher was so cool. When really, he was just a 50-year-old man who talked to 12-year-olds about having sex with his wife. That's f Spider Bill Natrine. He was the MVP of the league championship game. Sam Nedler, also known as Sammy Slamma Jamma, MVP of the league championship team. The Thunderclap, Pat Patton. Nicknamed after the super aggressive strain of chlamydia that left him infertile. What team? Wildcats! Uh, hold on so I can re-record that. What team? The super chlamydia c dumpsters of East High. You know what, I admit the name change was sort of a spur of the moment decision and it just hasn't been worth all the extra effort. Like, what's the point? Most people can tell just by looking at us that we're the super chlamydia dumpsters of East High. Sorry to include all of you in that statement, but I had no choice. We're all in this together and we know when we go to the dance, we're all c dumps. This is the only solo song in the whole movie. And I'm so sorry, sweetie, but this number is a skip for me. This is still true. And also, who keeps forgetting to close the lid to our science lab's tank full of black widows? Gabriella, get away from there and stop singing. You have to get into your underpants and stand under the emergency chemical shower. Why aren't there more teachers at this school? Ooh, who asked her to hit that note on such a flat sounding vowel? And in such flat ballet flats. Those are boot cut jeans, Gorbanella. You know that when you wear them without boots, it looks like you have tiny marionette feet and it really freaks me out. It's like watching those shrill, unsettling puppets on an episode of Mr. Rogers. Gabriella, we were jerks. No, we were worse than jerks because we were mean jerks. I forgive you. Come on, everybody. Gather around. Let's hold hands. We'll call it a circle jerk. It's an inside joke about this friendship ritual. Well, you need to say yes, because I brought you something. What do you mean? Turn around. <gasps> Troy, how did you get up here without my dog barking? I'm serious. What did you do to my dog? Now, looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something 
no. Uh, not sure why you threw away that last note like that. It was supposed to go, no. <clears throat> okay, I guess we could both use some more rehearsal, but I spent all afternoon at a circle jerk with the science club. Calm down, it was just a sign of our friendship. Why'd they do that? I smell a rat named Darvis. Actually, I think it's two rats. Neither of them named Darvis. That's my last five brain cells working together to understand an episode of Pinky and the Brain. A bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have something for you too. Yeah. Ta da! An equation. Go Wildcat Hoopsters. <laughs> you girls are so silly. But you also need to get the construction paper back out. <sighs> we need to change this so it says East High C Dumpsters. I know, it's our fault for not putting out the press release early enough in the school year, but having the correct name is gonna do wonders for the team's morale. And also who the f says Hoopsters. You be Exclamation point! Good, good draw, good draw. Dream? I feel like it's a problem that the kids in this school think they need to be dedicated pocket protector nerds sucking on a science book in order to justify basic literacy. Ryan here is unable to read simple t-shirt letters, and I recall a cheerleader in the cafeteria being like, Hum, y'all say these pages are supposed to tell a story, but I can't hear a thing. Because what I really want is to see my son having the time of his life playing the game we both love. You give me that, and I will sleep with a smile on my face. Mm, no. I don't want you to sleep with a smile on your face. That's creepy. Dads should be sleeping with a horrifying scowl and a snore that sounds like it should be hurting them. Like this. <laughs> and simple. I'm the girl in the green, front row groove into this whole song. I'm like, ooh, yeah, ooh, tracksuit. And that little girl's name, Greta Thunberg. Actually, no, I read that wrong. Her name is Gretel Junebug? Ew. Consider a stage name, sweetie. Maybe then you'll get cast in a real film role. Congratulations, yeah. Wildcat! Oh, what about your team? We won two! No way. You're saying you won first place in the regional off-screen, less climactic science regionals? I knew you could do it. Way to tell and not show them how it's done. Everyone is special in their own way. We make each other strong. Each other strong. On behalf of young queer kids in 2009, I would like to thank the producers for allowing Kelsey to look hot in this final scene. Remember, I'm speaking for the early thousands teenagers who had sapphic interests, not the 30-something adult who pirated this movie off the internet. Damn it, the FBI is going to ban my IP address after this. I can just feel it. We're all here. Yeah, I'm speaking up with one voice. We're gonna rock the house. Rock. Yeah. I'm fearful of Ryan and his hip swinging for the same reason parents of the 1950s were afraid of Elvis Presley's dancing. Because I believe the devil is real and the Bible actually matters. Wait, that's not true. I guess he just kind of reminds me of the time that I saw my middle school choir director dancing at a gay club. He should have known that was an inappropriate field trip idea. Dumpsters in the house, circle jerk computer mouse. Dumpsters floppy hair. East High comes everywhere. Sorry, I know this isn't a regulation East High basketball uniform, but just like the kids of East High, I wanted to finally stop hiding and reveal who I truly am. The druid who cursed Sharpay's mom into the shadow realm. Yes, it's me Sharpay and I have your mom. She currently lives in ever waking eternal sorrow. Come Dumpsters, oh hell yeah! Basketball shorts, everyone! And that's all she wrote for this shady short version of Clip Breakdown High School Musical. Do you feel re-inspired to try out for the spring music hal? If so, then drop me a druid email, which is a YouTube comment and a like below. That way I know you want to see even more shady short versions of Clip Breakdown classics, but most importantly, if you're new to my channel or you've been watching for a while, make sure you click that subscribe button or right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me, long or short version, short versions. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll be the first to know every time I've cast a curse on the mirror realm. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you so much for getting basketball boinked with me today. I will see you next time.